Welcome to this Monday edition of Kojiko North Bay News, truly local television. My name is Clark Heifel. We are live at 5.30. The wait is finally over. Summer in the Park, brought to you by Kojiko, is proud to announce that Canadian pop rock group Headley will take to the stage on Friday night of the Civic Long Weekend event. The announcement was made at the Capitol Centre on Monday morning. It's great because now we can uh, start uh, marketing and selling wristbands and uh, you know the fact that we've got a Juno Award winner again on our stage. We had uh, Burton Cummings and band last year and now we've got Headley with a much uh, wider reach as far as I'm concerned. They're going to reach into a younger demographic and I, I would think anybody from the age of 13 up to 60 will appreciate the music. They hear it every day on the radio and uh, it's pretty exciting for us. With the main headliner finally announced, the Summer in the Park Committee now shifts their focus onto selling wristbands for the event. And there's no better deal out there this summer. The committee uh, listened to some of the public feedback and uh, also some of the feedback around our own committee table. And we decided to extend the price to uh, the 31st of May, which gives everybody the opportunity to see what we've announced fully, uh, see the three headliners, and for you know $10 a night, or less than $10 a night, you're going to get three amazing nights of concerts, uh, and I don't believe you can get a better deal anywhere. D. Adrian has been booking bands for many years, and she explains just how the committee is able to come up with such an affordable ticket price for three nights of entertainment. You know, for the city to uh, take on such a low ticket, you know, tells me a lot of things that they're funding the cost of the artist to some degree and it, it is the saturation so that we can keep the wristband price low, but we need the numbers. People have to have a reason to stay home, and hopefully we've just given them that. With Headley on Friday night, Corey Markward and Tim Hicks on Saturday, the committee was able to secure some top-notch entertainment on Sunday as well. We've been able, to, been able to confirm Michael White in the White and his Led Zeppelin experience. We've seen Michael before. He brings in the crowds. Everybody loves a good Zeppelin tribute. This is one of the finest. There are plenty of ways to get your wristbands before the price goes up on May 31st. They can go online at summerthepark.ca. They can go uh, online at capitalcenter.org. They can uh, visit in person the Clarion Resort, the Chamber of Commerce, the, uh, the uh, uh, Capital Center box office, Canadian Tire, Parker's Independent Grocer, and of course CIBC Banks. So, you know, there's several areas to get them. If uh, any businesses out there that want to buy 10 or more, uh, they can contact Patty Carr at the Chamber office and we will have those uh, set up and delivered for you free of charge. So, uh, you know, it's a, they're accessible, they're everywhere. Get out and get them before the 31st of May. Summer in the Park takes place on the Civic Long Weekend starting on Friday, July 29th with lots of different activities for people of all ages. For Kojiko North Bay News, I'm Joey Rusick.